Good morning. Justin Chuck here with House of Tortured Souls. So let's see what I did over the weekend. Um, went to Chicago area and checked out that Misfits thing that they have going on. You can tell I'm a little raspy, a little raspy. Um, singing along with that stuff, you know that's how we do. <clears throat> um, man, it was cold as fuck in that bitch. All right. First off, it was snowing in April. That's a Midwest thing. That's what we get here. Okay. That's cool. Um, but, uh, it was so cold while I was walking. I got brain freeze. Like I just inhaled a fucking chocolate shake or something. That's how fucked up it was. But anyway, you know, it, it was great though. You know, it was, it was a good experience if you will. I've been around so long. Like I've had plenty of those, but it was good to feel like a, teenager again doing that dumb shit so anyway let's get into how these bands were we walk in get our little seats yeah we had assigned seats the general admission is fun when you're up to your mid-20s once you reach the age i'm at now it's like man i'm about to sit down okay i still go to a general admission show but i'll watch it <laughs> and so Anyway, we get our seats and everything. Everything's cool, but Power Trip was playing. Now, it's a thrash metal band, and y'all know how I love my thrash metal, and that shit was good, okay? I was, I was pumped because Power Trip, they're just a great act, either, you know, on CD or seeing them live for the first time right there. That was that was really good. I enjoyed that. Um, everything was set up well. Um you know, usually with punk shows or metal shows or whatever, nothing's on time. <clears throat> Everything's disorganized. Somebody's arguing with somebody. Now, since this was like a real venue and, you know, real professional and everything, everything went smooth. So, anyway, after them, Venom Inc., I assume somebody lost a battle in court, so they have to put Inc. Incorporated at the end of the Venom name. It kind of lowers the quality of it. They should just start over. But anyway, they come out, and it sounded like a black metal version of Motorhead. So not very good. Um, I never really cared for Venom anyway, but it was just uh, pretty terrible, I guess, to say the least. Yeah, it wasn't very good. <clears throat> um, so I sat there playing around on my phone, <laughs> You know, doing kid things and really not doing much else, just ignoring that. Laughing at all the people around me. <clears throat> but let's see who was next. Oh, Fear. Okay, so Fear, you know, in like nineteen eighty one they were they were the hot shit, you know. They took punk rock and made it a little more something else. But you got to know when to give up, okay? Venom was like the band that, you know, every local show, there's like 64 bands when you have a big, big name act come in because somebody's girlfriend is like, oh, my brother's in a band, let him play, and all this other stuff, you know, and that, that's how Venom was. It was like, oh, come on, you know, his, his son's the sound guy, you have to let him play. Um, fear was kind of the same way in like, I don't know. <laughs> it's just the, the only thing you can really say is that it was awful. <clears throat> uh, what's his name? I forget his name. The singer that's old, old as fuck, man. He's so old. They had like three guitarists. What fucking punk band has three guitarists? None ever. That just doesn't make sense. Maybe, you know, Flogging Molly or something. But before every single song, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Every single song. And then, of course, they play that one song that I love living in the city song that everybody knew. And then that was it. You know, it was just kind of boring. I didn't like it. 
as everything gets set up real quick for the fits. Dave Lombardo on drums, AC Slade playing guitar. That's I mean, straight up, besides Jerry only, I'm pretty sure that's what carried it. Doyle, he gives that appearance that he's playing something, but you know he's not. That's why AC Slade was there. He was there to carry Doyle, that's my opinion. Um, and Dave Lombardo, Slayer, Fantomas, Dead Cross, Suicidal Tendencies. I mean, dude plays drums for everybody. And rightfully so, because he's a fucking badass, okay? He is just good at what he does. And different genres of music, he just like bounce, bounce, bounce. And, it, you know, it was solid. Really, really, really enjoyed it. Uh, Danzig sounded a little rough. Like, he was actually on tour singing every night for the last 15 days. That was between songs, you know, he's all, I mean, you know, I know they're getting up there in age. Jerry, Jerry still plays though. He, he plays, he runs around looking like a goofball and that's cool. That's fine. That's what you do. You put on a show, you know, that's what punk rock's all about. And they showed out. It was really good. Um, this is my second time seeing this, uh, incarnation of misfits i saw them at riot fest a couple years ago and i really enjoyed that too but i mean i don't know when you're when you're a misfits fan you know they got you got your teams and danzig and graves and this and that you can't beat just watching this classic style lineup we can't say it's a classic lineup because they have a fucking thrash metal drummer, okay? But with Doyle and Jerry, you know, looking like they do, and then Danzig coming out and just showing out like that, that it was it was a good time. Uh, my good friend Lynn, she actually bought my ticket. She didn't get to see him at Riot Fest, and we've known each other since we were kids, and she's always been a diehard Fitz fan. So. She really enjoyed that, so that was good that, you know, I could go there with her for that. And, you know, we, we had some conversations along the way, you know. The the people out there, the, the, the fans, go out there bitching about how, you know, no, oh, they shouldn't be doing this. They're just money hungry, this and that. They have to feed their fucking selves, too. You know, do you like going to Walmart every day and bagging groceries? I bet you don't, but you got to eat. <clears throat> and, you know, they they enjoy doing this. They, you know, that's what they wanted to do. That's what they're doing. If you were a true fan with that Crimson Ghost tattoo on you, you would have went too. And it was, it was a good experience, good fun. I've been to so many concerts, I lost count in, like, 1999. <laughs> but it, it, was, it was definitely one that was well worth it, well well worth saying if they continue to do dates i recommend everybody go and just you know we all love the misfits i mean okay not everybody <laughs> a lot of us do a little overboard but in the horror punk scene yeah, that's another conversation <laughs> but this was this was a good time i enjoyed it i know i was in an exciting video like my other ones but I'm tired as fuck. Okay, I'm just straight up. My hair still looks good, though. So, that was my experience. Most of the shows sucked. Misfits were good. They're extra old, but they still know how to put on a good show. Don't ever go to a show and see a band play and think, oh, well, they're older. They, they can't perform like they used to. These guys can, okay? They do. They're all in good shape. They're all, I mean, Jerry's like fucking 60 years old running across the stage sliding on his knees and shit like it's fucking Chuck Berry, fuck 1950. You know, they they know what to do to perform. And, and that's good. And I think also, let me throw this out there. Uh, 
they gave a little more spotlight to AC Slade and Dave Lombardo than at Riot Fest. It was like, oh, here's us three. Fuck these guys. That's the way it looked. Yeah, I know uh, Danzig himself, he has a lot of respect for Dave Lombardo and AC Slade. He said that numerous times. And they gave a little more spotlight to them, a little more, you know, hey, check this out. And, you know, for them to show out. And it wasn't like up front type, but it was still enough that I think they deserve that respect because they are both really good musicians. I've had the opportunity to share the stage with AC Slade years ago. And I can say that that dude is, he's an excellent musician and a very nice guy. Um, Dave Lombardo, not so much because, well, I mean, he was a drummer for Slayer. How am I going to share a stage with this guy? <laughs> but, man, wouldn't that be dope, though? Never mind. <laughs> but one day, one day. Um, I don't know. I got a few things coming up. I'm going to be uh, doing some videos talking about that new In Flames album soon. Um, that, that's pretty good. That, pretty good record. Uh, there's a couple more that I'm going to be throwing down on, and I'm going to do a "You Need to Listen to This" piece because my music taste is superior to yours. Okay, you're probably a disturbed fan. Don't do that. It's not cool. So I will give you some heavy metal and some punk rock to listen to. All right, so be looking out for that. What else do I got going? Be on the lookout for some Shadow Sin. What is that, you ask? It's a band I play guitar for. And it's going to be heavy. And that's really it. Alright. So, put in your Collection 1, Collection 2, and experience everything that I did this weekend. Um, it was a good time. Punk rock is... Uh, <clears throat> it's punk rock, alright? These old guys are out there still kicking it. You know, they're trying to show out for those of us that were <laughs> born when they broke up. So, you know, I respect that a lot. And I had a good time. And I think you all would too. So I know they're going to be doing L.A. And that lineup looks fucking nuts, dude. Fucking nuts. Rise Against is on it. <gasps> One of the best fucking punk bands in the world, okay? So... You know, if you're in the California area, or you can make it out there, you have to see this shit. Because I know that lineup is going to be a whole different vibe. So, when you're when you're playing a show and you got a vibe like that, that makes every band just insane. Okay? So, that's it. 13 minutes. I'm out. <laughs>